collective let's see what is going on with you guys get in here let's get you a message these are general messages to only take what's for you and simply leave what is not yours i will be reading all the signs and the energies that i see here for you guys if you don't know already i am your shaman empress aka the shaman hummingbird oh sorry guys spiritual hiccups okay oh excuse me all right I had to get that going. All right, so let's jump into this. Oh, okay. Let's jump into this message. All right, guys, this is a collective message. All right, a couple announcements. Make sure that you are subscribed to your area's only placements. Love Tarot. Anywhere areas is in your chart, your person's chart, any karmic energies, attachments. You have messages over there, honey. Make sure you are clocking all your tea. We are open for personal readings. Everything you need to know is down below or getting yourself booked. For your reading, okay, they are Zoom readings, and the camera is optional. All right, let's see what is going on with you guys. All right, the energy is flowing. It will fluctuate back and forth between you and your person, okay? Whatever's happening here can be happening physically and or spiritually. Let's see. Messages from the collective. What's going on with the collective and this person? Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. Ooh, okay. The emperor. Oh, you messing with a boss. Huh. The magician. Oh, shit. This person is manifesting you. Um, This is also... This person is spiritual. Either this person is a spiritual, a spiritualist, or they could be a sigma. Okay? Um, But this is somebody here that they, they know how to get three of pentacles. They are. And the five of pentacles. And I'm going to tell you something. Somebody here could have just lost a business. Or they just lost work. Or something like that is also something I'm picking up here. Strong Aries energy. Capricorn energy here. And Tesaurus. Someone's business isn't doing too good. Nope. The King of Lightning. You're going to find this out. This is also somebody here that wants to use, like, your expertise. Okay? Now, for some of you guys, this is why um, it's like this person has the appearance of something they that they could... Okay, so for some of you guys, this is somebody here that you see them as a boss. You may know they have their own business, but right now they're struggling. That's why you guys ain't communicating. That's what's going on with you and this person. Um, this could be also somebody here that used to, you know, have a higher status. They used to um, own business, a business they never had to do like a nine to five. But now they have to go back to work. They have to find work. Somebody here doesn't want you to know that they are not who they used to be. Somebody here might also want to know, is it okay for you guys to still have a, like a connection? If you was to figure this out, find this out, would you judge them? Would you look at them different or would you cut them off? Mm, what's this? Yep, the Queen of Candles. Um, for some of you guys, you are very attractive to this person. Ooh, yep, the Eight of Candles. That's what they want to talk about. Um, for some of you guys, this person is like extremely attractive to you. Yep, the Page of Pumpkins. Now, someone here has good news. It's like, you know... But you will have to work with this person. I'm gonna tell you right now, guys. All right, this is what this going. This is what's going on here. Yep, the King of Pumpkins. This is what's going on here. This person may, at one point in time, been able to have a relationship where they will be able to afford, you know, them and their partner. You now where they are. And this energy, they are now looking for somebody here that can actually help them pay bills. And that could be something that you guys would have to go over. That's what they would want to talk about. Like, what do you bring to the table? You know, what have you met? What do you manifest with them? Show me some more energy here. Yup, the chariot. That's what they want to talk about. Um, and this could be also somebody here. They could have had this. somebody here has this, like down downgrade. They they said downgrade and downsize. They might have also had to change their vehicle. Where's my hocus pocus wand, child? Somebody here had to change their vehicle. They, you know, they're downgrading, they're downsizing. Um, 
they're looking for more of a team player right now. Now, somebody here, to be honest with you, this is the kind of person where, because of where they used to be, they are now looking for, like, another business partner. They may have to also um, connect with, a, like, a um, third party when it comes to business, finances, and money to make money flow again. Maybe they were um, in partnership by themselves. Maybe they were in business by themselves, but now they have to take two more partners on. This person don't believe in working nine to five. It's like you are um, you are stepping in somebody's life at a time of transition. And you might be the cycle they're going through something. This could be the first time they're experiencing this. So you guys might have a different relationship, a different relationship dynamic than they had in the past. That is also something that you may know. There could be an age difference between you and this person. Give me something else here. The seven of pumpkins in reverse. Yeah, this person makes bad um, business investments. Maybe they're now opening up to, you know, now they have good business ideas. Whatever happens in the three of pumpkins and the emperor puts them in a boss status, but they may not know how to keep the uh, energy flowing. Uh, this could be someone here that, you know, it's like their business ideas last for a good, you know, three years. And then it's like they have to reinvent themselves. They could be having a problem keeping the energy flow of money because uh, money is lucrative. You just have to kind of like tap into it um, to keep it flowing. That's why they're taking on two more business partners that might have more expertise to help them out on, you know, so they can keep the money flowing. They ate a lightning. Yeah. This is a Now, this is a you are entering in somebody's life at a time where they're kind of stuck. And their finances stuck in a financial position that they were not expecting. Now, for some of you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. You uh, may also be the person. It's like in this person's life where it's like everybody else in relationships kind of benefited from them. And that changed your perspective because of what they went through. So now when you come into this person's life, it's more of teamwork, team effort. You might know that um, here. Now, the King of Lightning. Now, for some of you guys, you've got like two people here. you got two kings, baby. Mm. And we're going to have to take a look at both of them. Now, for some of you guys... Um, I do, somebody here, you are not speaking to your dad. This could be someone here that is not speaking to, um, their father. Someone here could also blame their father for certain things they lack, uh, when it comes to, like, um, their manhood. Maybe this is affecting their business. Or something like that. I also see um, some of you guys could have tried, you could have tried to like um, make amends also or work something out with your dad. I'm seeing that as well. And um, it didn't work out or something like that. So you could have an issue when it comes to a certain relationship. Someone here could also look at somebody here as having like daddy issues. Whether this is your person or, or, or you. Okay. Okay, let's see what is going on. Um, someone here comes from like a single parent household where the daddy was gone. Um, their dad wasn't there, so they had to step up and be the man of the house. So this is how they even started becoming the emperor, making boss moves, always having a dream of making her business. They have tapped into that and they have also lost that. This is somebody here that knows what it's like to have money, that knows what it's like to um, not have money. This is also somebody here that knows what it's like to gain money and to go broke. So they have an experience in life and this is somebody here that's on their way back up. They want somebody more on their corner that's going to be able to put in that work they'll put in action and are looking for somebody to support them 
This main person's thing now is seeing where you are. How would you work with them? How what would y'all bring together to the table? You know, um, what you know? Somebody here wants to know what kind of bills you are able to pay. I'm gonna just keep it a whole being with you. But you have another offer here that's coming into you, um, uh, Queen of Wands. Queen of Candles, and we're going to have to take a look at all these people, child, because we need all the tea. Okay, so we, um, I said that we have Aqua Aquarius, we have Capricorn, we have Tesaurus here, we have Geminian, we have Pisces, we have Sectarius Energy, and Virgo. All right, let's get an angel number real quick before we go any deeper, guys. We have 5-3, and I'm seeing 8-8. Eight, eight. Five three eight eight. Let's take a look at this. Seven six six seven is also an angel number. All right, guys. Okay, let's dig into five three eight eight. This signifies spirituality, creativity, abundance, open-minded positivity, personal freedom, and a strength in new beginnings. Yeah, I told you. Um, this is somebody here. This person is spiritual. This person, and um, this is another thing. This person believes in manifesting spirituality, and this could be simply putting a business plan together, putting action behind it, and manifest it because they did it already. They're just going through something here. Um, it's also something I'm picking up. Okay, now you have um, two options, and we're going to take a look at both of them. But first, I want to look at this Emperor energy. But this is uh, somebody here is like stuck on you, they can't get you like out their mind. Gemini energy is like they are really, they're like stuck on you. Hmm. All right, let's see. Hold on, y'all. Let me take a look at something real quick. Okay, now for some of you guys, someone here also tries to, um, like, there's no cups here. So what you need to be careful in this situation, is this is like business opportunity relationships that is coming in. You want to make sure, you know, it's not much about feeling. It's more about proposition. Mm. You got to be careful with that. Just make sure that you are being careful. All right. Let's take a look at this emperor. Mm. Show me the emperor. What's the emperor? Oh, my goodness. Mm. And someone here is also... Uh, um, somebody here is very savvy. They like to be on time. This is also somebody here when something's going on, they like to snap their fingers. It's like, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. All right. Show me the emperor. Mm. This person is going through changes that they, you know, they don't want to go through, but they got to go through. Oh, thank you. We have the joker. Yep, they want to take a chance towards you. Now, there go your cup. This is somebody. Now, somebody here, the, the, before they get emotionally involved with somebody, they want to know, is it? Does it is it logical? Is it reasonable to have a relationship? What do we bring? How would we support each other? They look at all those things first. Yep, four of pentacles. And this is someone here, they're gonna hold back their cup until they see that. Yep. They make sure like you guys could work together. This is also someone here that makes sure that like you um fit around their friends, their family, their friends group, how you socialize. They look at things like that before they just open up their cups. That's what I'm getting here. Show me more on the emperor, please. Yeah, confirmation. Hold on, let me look at something. Okay, confirmation. All right, what else is going on with this emperor? Okay, let's see. Oh, affection. Yep, they do. I told you. They make sure that you fit in good, that you work. Because somebody here, they like, someone here is also, um, Bringing you around business partners. Um, if, you know, you guys get into intimate set settings, will you be able to hold together? Will you be able to deliver? Will you um, comp compliment them? Because that's their life. That's what they do. They do business. They're, they they do intimate settings. This hook up. Yeah, let's 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 talk about business. You know, let's let's do lunch. You know, they might bring a significant other, other and that will be you. How would you uh, fit in boundaries? Yeah, and that's their boundaries. That's what they do. 
secrets. Yeah. Now, for some of you guys, somebody here don't like their business out, too. This is somebody here is like, you know, don't tell my business. You know, if they are going through something in business and they're not doing too good, you would have to watch the way, you know, they watch the way you would handle it. They don't want you, you know, telling other people or telling friends or people around you guys, you know, what's going on in y'all's uh, secret life. Um, you know, well, we're struggling with business right now. You would still, you, somebody looks for that. So if y'all was to get around people and y'all really are desperate and need, y'all need new business connection, you know, that's what he's doing right now, trying to find networking, so to speak. You know, how would you handle that? They don't want you out there saying, well, you know, right now we're in desperate need. We're looking for a new partnership. You just need to be on some, yeah, well, we're interested in, you know, having a new partnership, new business endeavors, you know, stuff like that. Like, you know, just to somebody that's looking like how you represent, how you show up. You got to fake it till you make it sometimes. Shit. That's what they into. I mean, I kind of understand that. It's not something I feel like that is bad. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's this? Showing out. Yep, something to say. You feel like home. Yep. This is, and this is something. Somebody here, this person likes to do it big, too. And this is somebody here that is not good with money. They're not good with money. They're not good with managing money. And they could spend more money than they make. Even if they make a lot of money, the emperor could make a lot of money or make a, accumulate a lot of money over a time period, you know, three months. You know, every three months they make a certain amount of money. However, their business is set up. Okay? Now, let's look at this, uh, this king of lightning. Let's see what's going on with the king of lightning, honey. Let's see. All right. What's the king of lightning? We got the ten of pentacles. This person's looking for a family. Yep, the page of pentacles. Oh, this person wants a family. So this is also someone here that still wants children. They feel like you fit you fit that. These are people that you attract older people. The ace of pentacles. And that's this is people that's already could also be like um set up in their life. They already, like, know who they are. They have already tapped into, like, you know, finances, whether it's good or bad. They already know how to make their money. Um, there's, a, a like, a survey. Um, I forgot what it's called. But they do it, like, once a year. And it's, like, proven over time or some shit like that that a man really don't make his, like, um, his pentacles until he's, like, in his 40s. Right? So for some of you guys, um, these could be like people over 40. Uh, this, if this is not age, this is maturity. And that's, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with that. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Yep, this person's looking for a family. Ten of Cups. They do. They want a family. Yep, judgment. That's what they want. And this is somebody, to be honest, this is somebody here. It, things may move fast with you and this person. It's like out of nowhere, y'all in a relationship. Out of nowhere, the kids is meeting each other. Out of nowhere, y'all hooking up. Y'all spending money. Y'all around family. Shit like that. Yep, the full car. They want to take a, a, a leap of faith. Yeah, they've been thinking about it a lot. Somebody here has been, you know, um, it's like they, it's like when they meet you, they just... It's like checking off four things for them. Four things that they dreamed about. Four things that they have already want, already wanted. And it's like you fill that off for them or something like that. Or they think they can, they see they can, yep, the hierophant, they can have that with you. Yeah. And this is also somebody here. It's like when they see what they want, they want it. It's like they got to have it. The five of swords. And this could be also somebody here, to be honest with you, that will like do shit to make sure that you are stuck with them. So you need to be careful. Okay, because this person here could be a little sneaky. All right, give me some energy on this person here. Give me more on this person here. Oh, yeah. Child, you got options. All right. So that's what's going on. Lessons. This person has already learned some lessons from the past relationships. That's how they know what they want. Now, somebody here, see, this is a very jealous-hearted person. Now, you, this person also knows you, somebody here, it's like, you, they got to get you on the market. You're very sexy. You're very attractive. They got to get you off the market. You ain't going to be single long. It's like they want to lock you down quick. They want to lock you down fast. It's like, you ain't going nowhere, girl. Where you going? With me? The queen of candles and the eight of ones. With me? They don't want you getting away. It's like they see you as a good catch. It's like, oh my gosh, like. 
something about you is like so sexy. Some of you guys got long hair. You could be having um, blonde in your hair right now, brown. For some of you guys, a very light brown. Okay, show me something. Oh, this one. Yup, flow. I told you, dreams. Mm. And this is also somebody here, y'all. Yep, triggered. Now, this is the thing. This is this may uh, trigger you a little bit because this person is like um, territorial. They might put a little pressure on you. You know? And this could be also somebody here that is like, all right, you know, this is what I want. Do you want this? If you want this, let me know. You don't want this. It's like... They don't want to take their time. This person could jump into relationships a little bit. That might be something you don't like about this person. Like they don't take their time. And to be honest with you, um, this is also somebody you might know that they just got a relationship like four months ago or something like that. Four to eight months ago. And you might want to take your time and be sure like, you know, that you're secure that they want this relationship you know that they're not playing games but it's like they see you and they want to jump right into this relationship with them but they could have residue from their ex or something or their last relationship so that's something else that you need to like also look at here okay what's going on oh nervous in reverse and feeling lost now, this is somebody here that's not as, they're not afraid to take a chance. It's how they see it, others' opinions. Now, for some of you guys, somebody here is also going to have, like, opinions about you jumping too fast in a relationship with this person. It's like, damn, you just met them. You sure y'all getting married? You know, all this shit is happening. Are you sure you're not moving too fast? You know, um, you don't want to just take your time to make sure. This could be family as well as what I'm picking up. Shout. That's what's going on. You popping. Whether you are a man or a woman, take it how it resonates, guys. This is what it is. This is what it is. All right, what else is going on here? Mm. What else is going on here for the collective? Cool, relax. Everything is fine. Sideways. I also, you, this card's been coming out all day. You are not your emotions. Something here is like making you emotional. What the hell's going on? No justification needed. I, I feel like, okay. Now, for some of you guys, it's like you might cry. When this, I feel like this is somebody here that's like, the proposal to you is like, Oh my gosh, you know, I'm really about to get married. This person wants to, or I'm about to get serious. They have a serious relationship. Like maybe it'll move you in a way where it opens you up emotionally. But it's like you're not sure at the same time because it's kind of fast. And that's okay. It's not the end, only the beginning. Yeah. And for some of you guys, I feel like, you know, you're not going to end this thing. It's just like a new beginning for you that you're having with somebody. I mean, it might also be looked at like it's like, you know, it's like the way you're looking at it. You might have to get out your head a little bit and not like let like uh, what happened in the past affect this connection that you're having with this person. Now, the, the crazy thing is some of you guys are going to be crying because you don't know which fucking person to choose. Um, men cry too, baby. It's all good. I'm just saying it's like you don't know if you should stick with this person or that person. And it might just make you emotional. It might be um, hard to ground yourself. It's like cool, relax. Everything is fine and reverse. But it's like, I mean, sideways. But it's not. Like it's uneasy. Like you don't know what to do. Some of you guys are dating. And you. this is like a hell of a choice to make. Who do you choose? That's why you could be getting others' opinions because you feel lost as well. Is also something I'm getting. It's like, what do I do? Hmm. All right, let's see what's going on, honey. All right, let's see what's going on.
It might make you a little emotional. Your emotions may be even up and down. Some of you guys could have been asked in the universe too, like, to bring in options. And they're here. And it's a lot on you. It's like a lot to think about. You're dating. Now, some of you guys is dating two goddamn people. Let's just get this shit on right now. Let's just keep it a being. You're dating two people. And some of you guys could be finding yourself stuck in your mind, kind of caught up because you don't know, like, where to go. And that could be another thing that kind of make you emotional. You're like, damn, how the fuck did I get into this? Because you could have feelings or starting to gain feelings for both people here. It's also something I'm getting. Whether you're a man or a woman, honey. Damn! Okay. All right. They said take them. I got to. Make the effort in true love. Yeah. Worth waiting for. I told you religious factors. We have separation. Yeah, we have getting to know each other. Mm. So some of you guys are going to have to make a choice here. To who to separate yourself from. But you don't know, like, who? We have children. And for some of you guys, you didn't already, like, um, met somebody's kids. Now, we have given your relationship a second chance, new love. I told you, wedding. Now, for some of you guys, I mean, it looks like you might go through something with a new love. So, uh, this person is new, this person could be an ex, or this person is new, or this person could be an ex for some of you guys. Or for some of you guys, these are both new loves. You're dating. Express your love and um, love and forgiving. So, take it how it resonates with you. Now, for some, y'all, oh my gosh, somebody here is caught in between two worlds. Do you accept your ex back if this is an ex coming back in, or do you go um, towards this new person? And it's like really deep. It might really make you emotional. Yeah, unrequired love. But I feel like you already kind of know what you want. Pay attention to the red flags, yeah. But somebody here, it's like they want to make it right with you or something. So for some of you guys, one of these people are from your past. And this other person, it's like, y'all go through y'all shit too. I mean, every, every relationship goes through something. So there might be something you have to come back through this new person. And it's like, it just, it's a lot on you. You may have to, like, take a break. Maybe that's why separation is here, to get your mind together. Maybe this is you, like, I just, let me just give me time to think about what I want to do. Let's get some universal messages. Because you got these options here. And I, I, it looks like that you guys are, like, you want happiness. It's all about a choice. It's like, what choice are you going to make? Somebody here could have been hiding a baby, SUV, and fighting in chaos. Now, for some of you guys, you could have, this is an ex you was fighting because they was hiding a baby. It's also what I'm getting. We got root chakra energy. This person is still connected to your root chakra. Someone here could be a son or daughter or an avatar of Ogun. So someone here also works online, could also like network. Someone here is really good with, like, um, mechanics and shit like that. I, I, this is going to be a tough-ass choice for you. And I'm seeing that. And I, I want you to understand. I do understand that. Some of you guys are not all the way over your ex. And then you have an opportunity coming in that could really, really, like, lead to something serious. A relationship. And you don't know if you should, you don't know what to do. You're going to have to really, really, really think about what you want. Okay. They're having me pull these cards, so let's pull them. 
Okay, honey. See what's going on, honey. Yeah. Death of in the mate and envisions boundaries violated dominance. Please don't lose hope. Somebody here is coming back. For some of you a lot, uh, guys, a lot of you guys, this is your ex coming back. And they're going to try to force their way back in. And it's like that really kind of fucks you up because you still have feelings for this person. But you got this new person here. And they really want a relationship with you. And, I mean, something here is like fast, though. This person may move real fast. It's like... Oh, you are what I want. I'm attracted to you. You check off, off my boxes. I really, you know, I want a family. I want to be together. I always wanted this. Let's do it. So what we're doing is like you don't know what to do. This is what's making you emotional. This is what's making you cry. Damn. Yeah, you see clearly wings here. Some of you guys know kind of what you want it's time for a treat yeah it's like it's time to treat it's time to treat yourself you already know that yup ancient wisdom i can't make it up it's time to treat yourself you already know that so you guys might also be crying because you're you're finally going to have to get over an ex that you might still like you kind of have feelings for but you know you got to let the ass go if you want this serious relationship or something like that the past returns for a time. I can't make this up because this person's coming back or something. Um, the power of three in reverse. And it's like, um, for some of you guys, it's like um for there could have been a karmic situation. Somebody here had you in a karmic situation before. Um, powerful personal growth. This could be somebody here that's like, look, I didn't mean they had to grow up and get their shit together and they're dead. They did. They did. So now they want to come back and get you. And it's like, damn, here you are. You're back. I, you know, you wanted this person. They're back. They got their shit together. Now they want to be serious with you. But you have to forgive them. And, and give them a second chance to see if y'all could do it again. And then you got this new person that wants you, wants to be serious, looking for a family down there, you know, looking for marriage here. Some of you guys have manifested this. It's like you might have asked the universe to bring this person back, and you asked the universe to bring you like somebody, and they and that's exactly what the fuck happened. That's what that's I'm saying. That's what she said. And now you're like emotional because maybe you can't believe this shit. Like, oh my gosh, you don't know what to do. You're not gonna know who to choose, who to run to, what to do. That's exactly what's going on. So if this it's like this ex may come back when you're like ready to get into this new connection. Have you ever watched the notebook? They just showed me the notebook. Damn. That's what she said. It's like she was like about to get fucking married and her ex came back and it's that was like the love of her life. But she loved this person, but she was in love with her ex still. For some of you guys, this is what's going on. Whatever level it's on for you. It's like you really... This is a relationship that really could go somewhere. And then your ex come back. But you really... Like you love them. And they love you. And it's like they might have treated you wrong before. But they, they're like put all that shit behind them. It's like what do you... You know... Oh, damn. Shit, I'm about to cry. What you shit? What she I'm emotional. What's the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node signs of this message? Oh my gosh. This could be your signs, the ex's signs, or this new person's signs here. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node signs connected to this message, Holy Spirit. Almighty, beautiful, universal, Holy Spirit. Oh, We have Pisces. We got Pisces here for you. We have Cancerian here for you. We have Aries here for you. And we have. Ooh, Aqua Arius, Tesaurus, and Gemini is here. Your signs, the exit signs, and the new person signs. Now, I just heard something. Be careful for what you wish for because you just might get it. Damn, am I going to... I might have to name this message that. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. For some of you guys, you could have wished for your ex to come back. I don't know if they didn't come back in a timely manner, but it's like they're coming back. And they're they're like they have got they worked on herself. 
because they want to they want to they want to connect with you. They want a second chance and a real second chance. But you have also manifested this new person, and they're ready. So. And put you in your feelings. Damn, y'all. I don't I don't know. You're gonna to have to really, really, really sit down and think about what you really want. Um, also, when you um are manifesting things, one thing that I learned, and I've heard this um from others, you know, and um I never really applied it until I experienced it in the right way. Okay. When you are praying for something, a lot of times you have to make sure you are ready also for what you are praying for. Because I feel like this is going to take you like you were, you're not really ready. Or this is unexpected of how this is about to play out. All right, guys, we're going to shut it down right here, honey. Okay, because you really got some decisions to make. I love you all. Stay dope. I hope this helped you out in more than one way. All right, guys, if I resonate with you anyway, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you hit the bell. Make sure you're hitting all. All right, guys, so you are always connected to your messages, and you will be notified when they are ready for you guys. Stay dope. I'll catch you in your next video. Upload. I'll share